What's up guys and welcome back to my cooking show. This is Greg Wyke from BeyondComics.tv making gluten-free vegan chocolate chip cookies. Uh, this is kind of actually my own recipe, but um, I, I have like massive expertise in this area um, <laughs> because of the fact that I've been eating like this for a long time. Um, I'm mixing in my diet. I have regular stuff. I'm not 100% uh, vegan, but I'm pretty much 100% gluten-free. Um, so I just want to tell you how I made this cookie dough and how we're going to make it. So uh, I got over here the Red Mill uh, gluten-free chocolate chip cookie mix, gluten-free. Um, okay, and then uh, some of the things I replaced, I'm going to kind of point out to you here uh, in this nice little batch that I have made for you. So what I did was uh, it said three tablespoons of water. Uh, I put about five tablespoons of silk almond milk chocolate flavor. Um, it's like very, very, very healthy. 25% less sugar. Uh, very good. I also put a little bit of water in there, maybe a couple of tablespoons. Um, in addition to that, um, instead of using eggs, I used egg replacer, which is basically tapioca flour. So I just put um, maybe like, I would say like five, five maybe like, like four, maybe four tablespoons worth of that in here. I'm kind of guesstimating it. Um, a little dash of uh, baking soda. Uh, I put that in there as well, and that of course uh, gives it a nice little, uh, kind of almost like helps it rise slightly. Um, and then instead of butter, I use this, which is this um, Nutiva uh, Organic Coconut, and I squirt it out of this. It's kind of thick. It can be oily uh, if it's hot, but if it's cold, it's a little thicker, so it's like butter. So instead of using half a stick of butter, I used a half a stick of this, same equivalent. So not too bad. Um, and I mixed it all together, as you see here. And just again to show you that consistency, it's very hard, very thick. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to, it's not like, I mean, it's gooey, right? It's like you can kind of see it's gooey um, over here. So that's the kind of consistency you want. And then I'm going to make it into little, um, you know, little kind of heaping uh, cookie sizes about two inches apart from each other and bake it. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, let's check it out. Make sure to follow and subscribe, by the way. This is Comfort Arts Writing Director Greg White. And here we go, guys. I have laid out the cookie dough. I added just a little bit more, uh, a little bit of cashew milk to it. Very small amount, maybe like a couple of tablespoons um, just to smooth it out there. I made it into these little heaping piles, as you see here. Uh, that should give us about nine cookies, nine big cookies. And uh, there we go. And I put the oven to 375. I sprayed this tin foil here, completely covering the whole tin foil before I put the cookie dough on it with uh, coconut oil spray. All right, let's see how it turns out. And here it is, guys. Dun, da, da. The finished cookies. Yes, they look perfect. Came out perfect little over 15 minutes or so as you can see they're nice and golden brown um, just fantastic um, this is great the main flour base is mostly rice flour with a little bit of you know um, other ingredients mixed in but that's the main base of it over here and uh, you can see right over here um, I have eaten around them to make them a little bit rounder um, but they absolutely taste delicious you can see that they're kind of like like nice and chewy you know, and crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside over here. Uh, almost like a cookie brownie, if you will, but very moist and delicious. So guys, this has been Comic Book Artist, writer and director Greg White from BeyondComics.tv. As I said before, please make sure to follow and subscribe. I hope you have enjoyed my cookie recipe. But as they say in comic books, to be continued.